Hello, I'm Todd Kerfelman for The Developer Show, and this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Android Studio 3.4 is ready to download on the Stable Release channel. This update includes a new resource manager for improved asset management, a new project structure dialog as a front end to manage Gradle project files, R8 replacing ProGuard as the default code shrinker and deobfuscator, as well as over 300, whew, 300, bug fixes and stability enhancements. To get started with Android Studio 3.4 and find out everything that's new, check out the link in the post. The Cloud Functions for Firebase team has released a turnkey solution for secure scheduled functions using Firebase tools and SDKs. So if you want to schedule a function to run on a regular basis, similar to a cron job, Firebase now has a special Cloud Functions convenience method which will do this for you. How uh, convenient. To find out more about how to use this new method and see some sample code, check out the details in the post. The Indie Games Accelerator is a special edition of Launchpad Accelerator to help top indie game developers from emerging markets achieve their full potential on Google Play. The team is very excited to announce that applications for the class of 2019 are now open. Selected participants will attend two gaming boot camps, all expenses paid, at the Google office in Singapore, where they will receive personalized mentorship from Google Teams and industry experts. Details about the program and instructions on how to apply are on the post. In order to better protect you and your users from man-in-the-middle attacks, Google will block sign-ins from embedded browser frameworks like the Chromium Embedded Framework, or CEF, starting in June. If you are currently using CEF for sign-in, you should switch to using browser-based OAuth authentication. This also enables users to see the full URL of the page where they're entering their credentials, thereby reinforcing good anti-phishing practices. More details about this change are, you guessed it, on the post. Deep neural networks are great at solving hard problems such as image classification and text recognition. However, designing a network from scratch for your specific application can be a challenging task in terms of computational resources and time. One solution to this problem is MorphNet, a sophisticated technique for neural network model refinement. MorphNet takes an existing neural network as input and produces a new neural network that's smaller, faster, and yields better performance tailored to a new problem. More details about MorphNet, as well as the open source TensorFlow implementation, are on the post. Hey, did you like this video? Well, why not like, subscribe, and share? I'm Todd Kerfelman for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. This is like the world record clap, like clap for, like this is how we did it. I don't know, it's a thing. Much faster than I'm able to do it. <laughs>